Hello, and welcome to a special program brought to you by the Wadsworth Suprema Senior Center. I'm Nancy Likens, Director of the Senior Center, and I'm host for today's special program. It's going to be a great one. I have with me two special guests. They are participants of the Suprema Senior Center, and we have a pretty terrific story to tell today, and actually an unveiling of a very special item near and dear to both of your hearts. Um, joining me today is Stan Wolchek. He is a regular participant and volunteer of the Suprema Senior Center. And also with us is Steve Tilka. Steve is also an active participant of the Suprema Senior Center. So welcome, gentlemen. Glad to have you on the show. Thank Glad you. to be here. Wonderful. We're going to really start today's program talking to Stan. Um, a lot of people might know Stan's last name because everyone calls him Stan the Man. This is Stan Wolchek, our Stan the Man, a longtime participant of the center. And before we really get into the item um, uh, question today, let's just talk a little bit about you, Stan. Um, where you were from, a little bit about your background. Just tell us a little bit about you. Oh, that's very easy. I was there. <laughs> I was born in Cleveland, Ohio. Parents came from Poland. I ended up at Lincoln High School. The war came on prior to uh, entering the, the, the war. I participated in a program that gave me a commission in the Army. So I began as a second lieutenant. Now I received a letter from the War Department. In the old days, they had a War Department. Yes. Why they never had a seat, I still don't know. I received this letter and said, would you like to go to the Philippine Islands for a two-year extended service? They're looking for people just like you. Right. Sure they were. Right. But I had a program problem. The problem was I was going to get married. And I didn't expect my new bride to expect me to sneak off that sword. Oh. <laughs> but you did. The second letter I received was not very polite. It was a day after Pearl. All it said was, Report, I'm in the army. My wife came with me. I was a second lieutenant, so she was permitted to travel with me. There's a story that I'm going to tell. Okay, a short story, right? Short story, remember we only have Oh, Short story. The abbreviated version. How's that? I don't know if I do a short story on that. <laughs> but maybe, maybe that's another show. <laughs> maybe that's another show. No, I, I'll save that for another Okay, occasion. let's save that. Yeah. Audience, stay tuned. We're going to have another show with Stan here before yeah. too long. But you served in World War II. In the Aleutian Islands, correct? In the Aleutian Islands, where most people don't even know where that is. Yes. You don't know your geography. You don't know where that you is. Don't I'm know. Sure. I don't know. The island of Attu, A-T-T-U. It's the last island in the Aleutian chain, the most western part of our country. Okay. The Japanese, the enemy invaded for three reasons. One, they were protecting the islands for themselves because they were planning to make landings on their mainland and preventing, preventing us from using the islands to attack them. And the third reason was they didn't want us to get involved with the Russians so they would be cooperation. That was the three reasons. Okay. They landed. A year before we had the opportunity to land. So they had an opportunity to dig in for a whole year. 
before we arrived. Okay. Now, when we arrived, well, there's a little story. Well, let's fast forward. You, thank you for your service in World War II, but we have a lot of ground to cover because yes, you're right. only how many years young? How many years young are you? Oh, I'm a young 99 <laughs> plus. 99. 22 days. So we've got a lot of ground to cover in those let's 99 years. So let's roll the tape forward. Good. And you're stateside now. You've come home from your service. And you're married to beautiful Mary. Oh, I loved her. Loved Mary. You had a career at home. What did you do for your, for your job, for I your work? I was a school teacher and a school principal. Both, both. So you did both sides of the classroom or the school. What school system did you teach in? I thought overseas for four, five years. Yes, Germany, yes. Mm -hmm. In Germany. Yes. Mm -hmm. And then I thought in Norton. Norton. Which Norton, is I came our back neighboring in community, yes. Yeah, and you were part of the group. Principal of an elementary school in, in, in a the place North where North. they're closing the building now. Oh. What a shame. Well, you had an opportunity to influence a lot of young lives, I know, and, I did and your too. students fondly remember you. So um, now you're home teaching, become the principal of the Norton School, um, in elementary school, and Mary is still with you. Tell us just a little bit about Mary and your family. You have children? Well, Mary, I met her, a short story, during the Depression years, the government was encouraging people to participate in all their programs. And there was one program that was called AYA, American Youth Activities. And I joined, or they hired me for that job. And they would put me in some public activity. In other words, the government was paying my salary of all of $15 a month. Boy. If you don't have a nickel in your pocket, 15 was very minor. So they sent me to city hospital. And what did we do there? Well, we took care of the hard work. We had nothing to do with the patients or their treatments, except if a patient happened to pass away. Our job was to put the patient on a cart and deliver him to the basement where the funeral directors would yes. do their, their whatever they're doing. On the way back, my buddy says, why don't you get on the cart? Uh -oh. And I'll cover you up with the, 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 the sheet. Uh -oh. And I did. Uh oh. <laughs> and he pushed me. We were on the sixth floor. We got to the sixth floor. He's pushing me to the nurses' quarters. When I got to her desk, I stood and I sat up. She let out a scream. <laughs> the head nurse came. It turned out to be my future wife. It was Mary. It was Mary. Oh, no. So she was a nurse. She was a student a nurse student at that nurse point. at Akron City Hospital. At and, City and Hospital. And you frightened the wits out of her on your first meeting. I scared the floor. <laughs> the head nurse came. She wanted to fire us. Oh, I'm sure. But since she was receiving free work, that the city didn't have to pay. They just transferred me to another floor. <laughs> Stay away from this floor. Oh, boy. But anyway. So you met Mary. Then what happened next? Yeah. How did well, you Well, then I began to chase her. Of course. All over the hospital, I'll bet. <laughs> All over the hospital. <laughs> oh, my goodness. In those days, if you were poor, if you, uh, you, if you asked somebody for a date, you didn't go to a movie. Right. You didn't go to a fancy restaurant. What you did was invite her to go swimming at Hinkley Lake because it was free. Oh, <laughs> big it was spender. beautiful. 
Yeah, so that was your first day? That was my was first day. Was swimming at Hinkley Lake. Oh, boy. It didn't cost me anything. Big spender. <laughs> Big spender. Oh, but we progressed, didn't we? And then she fell for you, and it's, it's all history. So how all. long were you married to Mary? Oh, I was married 64 years. Oh She's buried at Western Reserve. And I go there once a week because on either side there are sailors. And I make sure I go there, there's no hanky pinky going on. <laughs> oh, ah! Dan, my goodness. Well, well, aside from that, you have at least a daughter that I know of. How many children do you have? Two. You have two children. A boy and yes. a girl. Boy and and girl. Penny, Penny was a teacher. Retire. Uh -huh. I think she's visiting us today. Yes, I think she might be in our audience. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Penny. <laughs> she used to teach the pregnant girls. Oh, wow. That's quite a calling, yes. And somebody once said, Why don't you teach the boys to keep their pants zipped up? <laughs> <laughs> good, they wouldn't have that many good points. points. Yes. Yeah, good point. No, but then Mary might have been out of a job, or, or uh, Penny would have been out <laughs> of a job. So she, she had raised two children, you and Mary, and your yeah. son as well. And um, just in reflecting back on Mary, we know she was beautiful. We're really going to see evidence of that in just a few in a few minutes. But what? was unique or special about Mary? Was there any one thing that was really just it about Mary? She was it and that was it. <laughs> she just was it. <laughs> she was the it girl. She was the it girl. I yeah. took her to Europe. She's well trained in European activities. So she's not a homebody. Right. So after many years in Europe, I came back here deliberately so she would have some place to go to a reunion. You don't have a reunion in Stuttgart, Germany. There's no one there. Right. So we came back so she had a chance to graduate here in Wadsworth. Oh, so nice. she's a Wadsworthite. Oh, she's a wa she's a Grizzly alum. That's she's wonderful. Alumni. She's one of us. Well. Beautiful love story. Thank you for sharing your meeting Mary. Didn't know that little story and telling us just something about her and your beautiful 60 plus years of marriage. It's such a great accomplishment, especially in today's world. Um, we have another guest with us and our viewers might be wondering, what's the connection between Stan and Steve? And there really is a pretty amazing connection, but I want to tell our viewers something I learned just before we did today's show. Um, I was chatting with Steve in, in my office and we were re reviewing last names, Stan Wolchek and Steve Tilka. Those are not Johnson um, Smith names, right? They're Polish, good Polish names. And I told Steve, I'm not afraid of those names because I'm Polish. My maiden name was Grohowski. So I can handle Tilka and Wolczyk with no problem. But we just all share that, that little bit of story and common, and common culture that we all enjoy. But um, Steve, I know you got acquainted with Stan prior to coming to the Senior Center. You met him at church, correct? At church. Yes. Uh, we belong to the same parish. Yes. And uh, uh, one Sunday or Saturday, uh, it was a Saturday evening at the Mass, uh, everybody shakes one another's hands. And uh, I shook hands with people in front of me, beside me. And then I get a a little nudge on my shoulder and uh, I forgot about the people in back of me and here Stan was nudging me so I shook his hand. That's how I met him. Oh, and uh, then after that it was uh, getting to know him a little better at the senior center and uh, he uh, brought a picture of his wife in uh, 
one day, and uh, it was an old black and white photograph. Mm -hmm. It's right there, actually. Yeah, I think we, have we have right here a photo um, to bring up. I think, yeah, there it is. Yes, beautiful. Mary was maybe a teenager then. She was pretty she young. She was yeah. a senior in high school. Senior in high school. So that was Mary a Isn't long she time ago. She's just gorgeous. Absolutely yes. beautiful. So and, and when Sam I, brought the photo in. Here it is. Yeah, and and, uh, and when I saw it, I, I paint quite a few paintings from old black and white photographs, uh, especially the ones that have good composition in them. And uh, uh, Stan mentioned something about my painting and so forth. So we got on to talking about maybe doing a a portrait, you know, an oil portrait of her. Well, uh, we gelled on that, and uh, I started about a oh, week and a half, two weeks ago. And, uh, of course, I use this as uh, information that I needed, and there it is. of that's, course that's I added deal. I I added color to it, and yes. uh, there it is. Uh, oh, isn't that beautiful? Oh, it's just gorgeous. Yeah. I eliminated the uh, people behind her that appeared in the uh, original black and white photograph, and. Uh, I didn't change much of anything else because uh, the, the composition was really good in the photo, but uh, uh, it just, I, I, I paint what I, uh, what I want to paint and uh, uh, that's one of the advantages of, uh, I guess, of being a, an artist that's uh, uh, retired. Uh, my uh, I, I was an architect for uh, uh, you know since I got out of the service and. Uh, uh, up until uh, I was 65 years old, and uh, but I kept working uh, as a uh, director on the board of uh, Lewis Perry and Associates okay. here in Wadsworth, and uh, but all the years since high school, I, I've been painting. Uh, I went to art school for two years before I went to uh, 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 the service. While I was in the service, I figured uh, I'm not much of a salesman, so I better go into a profession that uh, uh, I can make a living at and support a family. Yes. Uh, I didn't like to teach art or anything like that. but. I, uh, uh, I've always been interested in, in, in painting, and I loved uh, art more than I did architecture, but architecture being one of the uh, three uh, fine arts, so to speak, uh, painting, sculpture, and architecture. Uh, I did both, and uh, uh, that that's, sums up pretty much uh, uh, everything about myself, mm -hmm. except the reason I left art school uh, was I was draft bait, and uh, the Akron Art Institute uh, was not a, a, an exempt 
uh, school yes. or, or college like Akron U, Kent State, yes, and so the forth. Universities, yes. So, wow. so, th so you went to school and learned to trade in architecture, but always had that passion yes. to paint. And um, this particular work is is titled. It's called Mary E. Mary e, e for for, for Edna, Edna, which Mary is Mary's Edna. middle name, and it's done in. Oils. Oil paint, Oil paint. on uh, stretched uh, linen, uh, Belgium linen. Stretched and uh, Okay. Well, it's just beautiful. And the colors are representative of what Mary would have chosen. Oh, I, I had blue eyes. I had to consult with uh, a stand we here. With me. We did very well. Okay. Isn't uh, that picture beautiful? Absolutely. And you know why? All the women in Wadsworth are beautiful. Oh, well, I, all of them, I would, and I love them all. <laughs> I would subscribe to that. That is, thank you. Yes. Yeah, so the the painting is done. It was just presented to Stan, so it's now passed from Steve to Stan, friend to friend, in honor of Mary. And we actually are going to have it on display at the Senior Center for a time before Stan takes it home. Viewers know that it will be at the Suprema Senior Center in the cafe. And we have a, a little information card about the painting, about Steve's work, and that will be available at the center to view as well. So viewers, come visit us at the Senior Center. Come to the Suprema Cafe. Come for breakfast or lunch. It's open from 7.30 to 2, Ooh. Monday through Friday, and you will get to see this beautiful portrait of Mary E., in person and believe me it's worth seeing it up close and examining the the great work that Steve did as an honor and a tribute to um, a, a dear friends beloved and what what a what a better story of friendship and love I don't know I I couldn't top it so I thank you both so much Stan for your inspiration and you're 99 years young. When I don't feel like getting up in the morning, I think about you, and I think, yeah, but I'm going to get going this morning. i got to go see Stan and have coffee. May I say, in 12 days, this lovely lady would have been 99 oh, years old. Oh, so she would be selling a, celebrating a birthday yes. in February, that would be. But our viewers will get to get acquainted with Mary via her lovely portrait and definitely get acquainted with you. Stan is at the center pretty much every day, almost as is Steve. Steve's very active with his wife, Laura. And um, we're just so pleased to have you both on our show today. We've really just about run out of time. And I thank you both for joining me on behalf of the Wadsworth Suprema Senior Center and our viewers and the many participants we have at the center. I thank you for watching today. Until we meet again, thanks thank for watching. Thank you, Steve.